When an employee at Suncor Energy in Calgary is wearing a set of these gloves, you know they've done something wrong. Our supervisor gets a, a fancy pair of these, uh, these pink gloves and we give them the first and 15th of each month and really what's their job is to walk around their work site and watch their, uh, their workers. And if they catch somebody doing a job and they're putting their hands at risk in an at-risk position, we stop, observation, or stop operations, we do an intervention. And uh, during the intervention, we talk to the worker where his hands should have been and they take two pictures. A picture where his uh, hands were that were at risk, a picture where his hands should have been based on the operation or standard operating procedure he was doing and they fill out the rest of the job observation and uh, that job observation gets shared with uh, the rest of the rigs that are working for our company uh, currently. But these gloves are also an example of doing something right. For every uh, job observation that Suncor receives we make a donation to the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, to date we raised over ten thousand dollars and uh, from the, their injury perspective, we've had uh, you know, great success with it. We have some rigs that haven't had a hand injury for since last two and a half years since we implemented the programs. The four pink job observation program arose from the unlikely comparison of two health and safety facts. So number one is that in uh, 2009, there's 37,000 uh, hand injuries reported to the WCB. Uh, that's equivalent to about 100 per day, which is quite significant. Another stat was that uh, 100 women are being diagnosed with breast cancer every month during that same time period in the province of Alberta. Mudrick says the skeleton design is a visual reminder that 27 of the most intricate bones in your body are located in your hand. One of the risks we thought with, uh, with this program is uh, getting men to wear pink, right? And the pink heart at pink gloves and what would be the response to that. And uh, Jenny, you know what we found is that in a room of 10 guys, when you come in the doghouse and you talk to them, there's always one that, you know, had been very really significantly affected with their families, with, with breast cancer, with, again, with a wife or a sister or a mother type thing. And, and they'd be the first one saying, hey, I support this. The Canadian Breast Counter Foundation in Edmonton now manufactures the gloves, and Suncor hopes the program goes beyond their workplace. In fact, Mudrick says it already is. Guys who see their, their job observations say, I don't have pictures of me at, at work, so I, I want to take them home to my kids, right? And, and their kids are looking and say, Dad, how come you have to wear a pink hard hat and pink gloves? And, well, Dad put his hand in a bad spot, right? And you get those conversations happening at home. So if you get safety in the home front, and, and now some of the dads are saying, see, now I created a monster. Instead of my kids wondering how Dad did when he came home from work, or missed you, Dad, or he's asking, Dad, did you put your dad in, hands in a bad spot? And, and uh, no, Dad didn't. And, you know, you have those conversations at home, and, and we think that's all good. So.